Hello, thank you, everyone. Uh, today, we are, today I'm presenting the Shake-to-Leak fine-tuning diffusion models can amplify the generative privacy, uh, privacy risk. Yeah, so we can start with a simple question. Uh, can anyone use generative AI to generate a private image of a targeted person? So we all know that Gen AI has uh, learned many images from uh, for some uh, for persons such as celebrities uh, like Joe Biden, Taylor Swift, and we know that Gen AI is very easy to access to uh, ordinary people. And also, Gen AI can uh, synthesize non-existing images. So we are curious about can AI generate a targeted person's uh, private image from the using the name prompt. Uh, for example, given a prompt that uh, like a photo of Joe Biden, and we pass it to existing Gen AI uh, models like Midjourney, uh, Stable Diffusion, and Dao E. Can we generate a, a real image in the uh, in the pre-training set that is uh, basically private to uh, private to uh, to the user? So there is a pioneer work in 2023 by Carlini that said, yes, yeah, I can actually generate the person's image from uh, prompts. So specifically, they achieved this by first identifying some highly uh, duplicable prompts, and then generate a lot of candidate images using this prompt. And then they would do a all pair comparison between the generated images and uh, the whole uh, training set using the uh, clip similarity. Uh, but uh, actually, since they are using uh, untargeted data extraction, so the result they uh, produce is uh, that Gen can generate person image in, in actually very low chance. Uh, specifically, they found about 94 images out, out of uh, 116 uh, million uh, images in the pre-training set. That is like uh, one. Uh, one, one private image found in 1.7 million uh, between, between images. So the reason is that, uh, the reason for this low chance is that they're basically using the untargeted attack, which is uh, not, a targeted, not targeted on any domain or specific person. So it, it, it is actually hard to find all of, all of the memorized samples uh, all at once. And also they, uh, they did an extensive search through all the uh, prompt and uh, the the all pair comparison, which is also not very efficient. So, w so, so we might think that some targeted attack can can really narrow down the search scope. And uh, so, for untargeted attack, we we are actually trying to retrieve image of, of any person. But for targeted attack, we can retrieve the image of a specific person we want to uh, extract. But uh, naively applying the targeted attack on the pre-trained model may not work well. So we tried it, but uh, it produces about their image, uh, the, uh, almost their image, if prompted by like uh, a photo of Joe Biden. <clears throat> so here we uh, find a new risk that uh, GNI can actually uh, leak more uh, private information when, when parameters are shaken. So by shaken, we actually simply mean the fine tuning. So specifically, we can first let GNI to uh, imagine some images, usually not real private images, and then we shake the parameters, which is uh, let GNI learn uh, these generated images again. And finally, we can leak. Uh, which is which is using the existing attack attacking method to uh, to perform the privacy attack. So uh, before before we formally introduce the procedure, here here is a simple threat model. Uh, under the normal case, so the attack the attack goal is to recover private image from the uh, pre-training set of diffusion models or uh, text to image synthesize. And we will define a, define a keyword, a define a term domain as the 
a common keyword or common phrase in the T2I prompt. For example, if uh, for a set of images, they all have the mm -hmm. uh, name Joe Biden in in their prompt, then we can define this uh, this set of images as a domain specified specified by uh, Joe Biden. So we also make uh, two assumptions. The first is the attacker knows uh, which domain he wants to attack by crafting the target prompts. And the uh, secondly, the attacker has access to the inference API and fine tuning API of the, uh, of the diffusion model. So the attacker will use the target prompt and, uh, and multiple random, uh, random noise maps to, uh, uh, to, to uh, query the diffusion model and generate many samples and then perform the privacy attack. So the specific attack procedure of the shape to leak is actually very simple. So the first step, we will generate images using the target prompt. And uh, this set of generated uh, images, we call it as, we call, we call this set as the synthetic privacy set. And then we will use the synthetic privacy set combined with uh, existing popular uh, fine tuning methods such as the Dream Boost, Lora, uh, Textual Immersion, and Hyper Network to fine tune the diffusion model. And so after fine tuning, we can just use off the shelf uh, attack methods such as, member such as membership inference attack and data extraction to uh, perform the domain specific attack. So, yeah, here we come to the experiments. So, we will. Uh, for, for, for the main experiment, uh, we select 40 celebrity names as the attack domains, and we do one attack, uh, and we do, we do uh, S to shift to leak uh, once on each domain. Yeah, so, and then we average the results on each domain. Yeah. And also, all the, the model we test is the stable diffusion V11, and uh, since it is trained on the LAN 2B data set, so the here's the statistics about each domain. So uh, we will assume that uh, the whole land to be data set is a, a private set. And uh, each domain in this private set of these celebrities actually contains uh, from 15K to 200K per 20 images. And uh, the result is that uh, the result is shown briefly shown in this table. So we, we compare with the pre-trained checkpoint and the end-to-end -end fine tuning with all the data sets uh, uh, and, uh, and also the shake to leak, which is using the uh, SP set to do the fine tuning. We can see that uh, we can, uh, the end-to-end -end fine tuning with uh, all the data won't uh, be running uh, amplification of the privacy, but the uh, shake to leak fine tuning with the uh, SP set can actually improve the uh, membership inference attack AOC to uh, by like by about five percent absolute improvement and uh, importantly we can uh, improve the data extraction result from nearly zero on, e on average on each domain to 15.8 examples uh, on, on average on each domain. So th this table, we, in this table, we show uh, more results with more fine tuning methods such as uh, texture inversion, uh, Dream Boost, Hyper Network, LoRa. So this result we show is uh, SQL combined with the uh, Dream Boost plus LoRa, which is uh, which is our best result. But uh, on other fine tuning method, we can also uh, observe significant improvement compared to, compared to the baseline. So the main takeaway here is uh, existing popular fine tuning methods can all uh, amplify the privacy leakage. Yeah, and also, uh, so here we show an ablation study about uh, how much parameters you will need to fine tune in order to uh, reach the best uh, uh, privacy leakage. So in, in the left chart, we can see that if we use some parameter efficient fine tuning to uh, reduce the fine tuned parameter to uh, uh, from like 1,000 million parameters to uh, 
10, 10 million parameters, the privacy leakage actually uh, uh, is the privacy leakage actually is improving. So the insight here is that uh, fine tuning will inevitably cause some distributional shift, which is uh, which is not uh, uh, which will cause some negative influence for memorizing the quick training set examples. So we want to uh, shake at at uh, as uh, less as possible uh, parameters to in order to shake the uh, privacy out. Uh, but uh, this this uh, this trend only uh, holds when uh, within a certain range of parameter. So under extreme case, for example, uh, if uh, one stop fine-tuned parameter number is less than uh, is less than 10 million, uh, the privacy leakage will actually uh, goes down when the fine-tuned parameter number goes down. Yeah, and also for on this right chart, uh, we show the textual inversion uh, fine-tuning parameter number, which is, uh, so uh, as we know, uh, textual inversion is just the fine tuning in the text uh, embedding layer. Uh, so each each embedding will have like a five five hundred dimension. So actually, the total fine tuned parameter number is very small, and we have we have variation here about the uh, the fine tuned fine tuned token number uh, about the extra fine tuned token number compared to the compared to the baseline, which is a uh, which is the uh, uh, original sentence token number. So the extra, the variation of the actual token number versus the MILC and data extraction also shows that under extreme case, the uh, less you find you more privacy you gain. This conclusion also doesn't help you. But uh, yeah, but the uh, I think we I think this conclusion uh, this conclusion still hold on on the very vast range of parameter number. Yeah, so we think this uh, conclusion may be valuable. Mm -hmm. So also, we want to know that does the, does the generated SP set already leak some privacy? The, the, uh, actually, the answer is no. Uh, be, as we can see from the visualization result here, uh, the nearest the true private image in the pre-training set for each, uh, for each sample in the synthetic private set is actually not uh, very uh, similar. So, so to con we can conclude that the SP set do not simply memorize the samples. In fact, uh, as to, in fact the shake to leak learns uh, some private patterns from the SP set. Yeah, and finally, we have some uh, ablation study about uh, shake to leak with a different obtainable prior knowledge. So first, we invest investigated uh, shake to leak with zero prior knowledge, which is uh, which is uh, there's no fine, fine tuning data available. Secondly, the shake to leak with distribution distributional knowledge, uh, which is not which is the normal setting as we tested in uh, in our main context. And finally, with a few uh, private uh, external domain knowledge. So this setting means uh, normally we, uh, in our normal setting, we assume that the pretrain set is the whole the full pretrain set is private. But this is but this is actually not usually the case uh, because uh, nowadays gen AI models, uh, in order to maintain utility, they will uh, uh, they will definitely incorporate many public samples. To in order to improve the performance, since the private image, uh, though uh, though uh, perhaps very high quality, but uh, may be limited in the in the data scale, so they will include many public data to ensure the uh, model utility. So under this uh, under this case, we can assume that the pre-trained set can be a mixture of public uh, uh, data and private data. So we can leverage the public data, the possibly obtainable public data in the pre-training set to cause even more privacy leakage. So first we'll talk about the shake to leak results. 
uh, shake result with uh, zero prior knowledge. So uh, when no fine tuning data is, is available, the best thing we can think about is just randomly perturb the uh, parameter, which we call Gaussian attack. So using the Gaussian attack, we found that if we scale, scale down the model uh, parameter to like uh, 100 times smaller, we can uh, we can achieve significant MIA AOC result improvement. For example, improve for like four percent. But uh, this doesn't hold in the original uh, large scale STV11 model. So it needs uh, a larger scale. We still require targeted fine tuning. So. Yeah, I think we can skip this uh, normal uh, prior knowledge. So, uh, so last we can talk about shake with different prior knowledge. So with uh, we, so we just talk about with, with a few. We, we can deliver some publicly possibly obtainable sample to cause even more privacy leakage. So the specific approach is we will learn a token to represent the membership concept using the public data with textual inversion fine tuning method and then we apply this concept token uh, and then we append this concept token to the target prompt to perform data set extraction so as we can see in the so, so we call this approach as the shake to leak domain transfer uh, so first we assume that uh, like uh, the image the domains from the image set you know the one uh, the 1000 class levels this domain are publicly accessible and we use some uh, public data uh, find from this uh, these domains to uh, perform this approach and then we do the data extraction and we find that uh, compared to our normal setting which extract the uh, 40.6 uh, examples from the uh, patron uh, from each domain we can boost the further boost to, boost the, the data extraction performance by uh, from three times to about four times. Yeah, so yeah, uh, so I think that's all. To conclude, we uh, reveal an unexpected finding that uh, shake to leak can amplify the privacy leakage of diffusion models and the uh, shake to leak phenomenon is per pervasive in existing fine tuning methods and we can extend H2L to uh, different cases and achieve even better results with more obtainable prior knowledge. Thank you.